How is it going, everybody? It's Michael from theloftestparty.com. I hope you're doing better than great. We've got a fantastic video for you today about Facebook. It's a video we call Fat Checkers Gone Wild. Hit it, Pedro! Okay, uh, full disclosure, we added that music in post. There is no Pedro. I'm very sorry, Pedro. Okay, now, this should come with a little bit of a disclaimer. While this video is indeed about Facebook fact checkers and is called Facebook fact checkers gone wild, it is in no way, shape, or form intended to be meant as an attack on the great reputation of the aforementioned Facebook fact checkers. This video is meant for entertainment purposes only and is meant to be comedic in nature. And yes, while it's called Fact Checkers Gone Wild, if you clicked on this because you thought there's going to be drunk girls falling down going, oh my God. Okay, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? This is a funny little story about Facebook and what's going on with the fact checkers. Here's what happened. Everybody's worried about these cargo ships stuck at sea because there's uh, supply chain shortages and people are like, what's Mayor Pete doing? And what's going to happen and all this stuff? I did a video about it. Last week, it's hilarious, and you should watch it. Anywho, a friend of mine on the old Facebook put up this meme. Mm -hmm. What does that say? It says, American-made products don't get stuck on cargo ships. And I'm like, right on, sister. I feel you. American-made products don't get stuck on cargo ships. And then what happened today? What to my wondering eye should appear? Boom! The fact checkers are all over it. They're like, hey, slow down, my friend. That's missing context. And now I'm thinking, what context is that missing? How is that misleading at all? So did I click it? You bet your bahunkus I clicked it. I wanted to know what they were talking about. So I click it, the little thing to learn more, and they take me to another meme. That's not the meme that was posted. This is a different one. What's that one say? That one says, if products were made in America, those backed up cargo ships wouldn't matter. Again, I'm like, right on my brother. I agree. If products were made in America, those backed up cargo ships wouldn't matter. And then you click on how it's misleading. And Facebook fact checker, the one that's gone wild, said, here's the fact check. The U.S. cargo ship backlog is not inconsequential. And they did, they did not in all, all caps. So, so, so that's what you're uh, upset about. So the person posts, uh, those backed up cargo ships wouldn't matter, meaning they matter. And your fact check is, they matter. They're not inconsequential. What is the fact check here? Oh, and then they also add, hey, the U.S. does make products. Yes, yes, that is true. <laughs> that is true. The U.S. does make products. But I think we're both agreeing that, uh, that the backlog is a, a, a subject that concerns people. Maybe that's the wording. So uh, what's going on with the Facebook fact checker? Are we nitpicking like this? Or, I think we can all agree. I think we can all agree that if the vast majority of products were made in America, the vast majority of products would not be stuck in the middle of the ocean. I say vast majority because somebody's going to be like, well, you know, some products would be stuck on a cargo ship. Let's say some child was making bracelets out of the uh, ring tabs from uh, uh, soda cans, and maybe they would have sent one of those to their friend in, in Japan, and then that, that cargo ship uh, was stuck in a hurricane. So uh, potentially, American products could be stuck on cargo ships. Yes, we can nitpick all day. But we got to agree, if the vast majority of stuff was made here, we wouldn't, it wouldn't matter as much. Sure, there'd be somebody sitting at home going, oh boy, my imported uh, praying mantis sketchbook from Taiwan is late. I hope, yes, it would matter to someone. But what are we doing, fact checkers? Nitpicking this much. Fact checking a meme that wasn't even the original meme. Some would say 
You're just trying to protect one side in a political debate. Some would say that you're just trying to deflect and make sure the vast majority of people aren't upset with a certain political party or Mayor Pete. Some people would say that. Not me and not Pedro. That's right. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha